We'll get the plan going. How exciting. Whack. What is that? What is it? What did you say? You said good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, Mike. Come on, Mike. Mike. Is Mike coming along with me or am I just chilling without Mike? You're going to need some friends. Mike's yeah. gonna have to bring some people. Mike's also trying to figure out how to delete all these goddamn lines. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Anyway, God, where the were we? Are we still in the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in we're in that room. Okay. So Mike, uh, you know, Mike brings some friends along. We're not gonna animate it. Uh, and you guys actually weren't you gonna go see Bob? Yes. Where the hell was Bob? Bob hey, was the up hell here. In the top left. Yep. All right. So. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. I'm like, why? There we go. Mike. We. We. I'm flying. I'm flying, Mike. I'm flying. Mike. The other Modrons all go, shame, 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 shame. No, 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 nope. He's a good boy. I'm surprised Michael's not chiming in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Ford is just like, no, that is not a bad, he, he's pretty good. At least make it. So I approach Bob. Yeah. Hello. So I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi. Do you remember me? Mm, yes, kind of. Wonderful. Um, so, do you remember Florence? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he does remember me. Okay, so she's gonna need for our super secret um fun time that we're gonna have later. Uh, she needs just whatever she asks for. Um, does she remember what she had asked for? Um, more or less. Um, I'm gonna need some armor and a weapon. More preferably a rapier. Do you remember what we what we what we had you ask what you asked for last time though? Like what specifically? There was a lot of were referenced. <laughs> so there is a lot of weapon. Um but but we'll talk about the weapons. How about that? We go to the weapons first. What? Because I know we wanted. I know I wanted a rapier, but I don't know which ones are in the catalog. Well, let's uh, let's go to our special catalog. Mm As for rapiers, we have some basic uh, plus ones, uh, such as our vicious rapier. Yeah, yes, vicious. Vicious weapon. What else kind? Other than that. See, besides this, we have some blood spears, boomerangs, greater silver swords. What? Do you want anything? We have a javelin of lightning, one of my favorites. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's see, what else is in our list?
While they're doing that, I'm just sitting down idly strumming my new loot. We have the Mind Lash and the Mind Blade. Always great for specific people. Uh, we have the Piercer Blade. And we have some shimitars. We have just um, like I said, just um, um, rapiers. Anything else? Well, I mean, above rapiers, I think we just have the basic plus one rapier. Yeah, no, there's not much for it. I mean. Trust me, it is hard to find a deep weapon or something. We do have a dancing rapier, but it does require attunement. Of course, a dance. Dancing rapier sounds fun. Uh, what does it do per se? Uh, it uh, it hovers and uh, flies around. To attack. Yeah, kind of. It's a fun little rapier. It sounds very fun. Yeah. But unfortunately, those are all the rapiers we have. Uh, I would pick a trident, but it's just, you know, bad. Not much on the street. I love the look, though. Of what? Of you with a trident. Oh, no, I know that, but there is. It's just you know how that can be, though. Exactly. Oh, no, I know that trends are nice. Lean into your aesthetic. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, me trying to throw a trident. It's like me throwing a spear. She just, just blinks at you. Uh, you, right. You have not seen me try to throw a spear. Mm, it's not the best. <laughs> Let's just run it. Okay. It's not the best. <laughs> oh, God. So do you want the plus one javelin then? I mean, you said that you had some nice armor. You said glamoured studded, uh, studded leather, right? That's what I have. Yeah, that could work. I mean, unless you have something else other than the studded leather. Um, I mean, we have a couple of things, but... You know, it uh, it all depends on what you're looking for. I could list out many, many things. Okay, let's keep simple. Uh, some studded leather, something light armor. Studded leather. All right, armor light. Mm Unfortunately, it looks like the glamoured studded armor is pretty much one of the only ones we'll have for that one. We do have 
some other armors, but unfortunately not in studded. You also have a good assortment of shields. Can't use really shield. Wedge, do you want any armor? Wedge. No, I don't need armor. Do you want any weapons? Unless you, ha they happen to have a short sword that will make killing people a lot easier. Bob? Yeah, that was what to say. No, but they might have a, a bow so you can use your fantastical abilities. I mean, what kind of magical bow do you got? I don't know. Probably a crap what? one because they're all garbage. <laughs> Snake! <laughs> and it has to be a long bow. It can't be a short bow. Short bows are absolute fucking trash. Same with crossbows. All guard. Hey, I have a crossbow. Oh, there. You have that covered. Oh, wait, what is this one? We do have some smoldering armor, which is high. I mean, aesthetically, smoldering armor looks pretty damn good. True, but like this. But it doesn't give any actual, you know, statistical bonuses. You could do the uh, the spiked versions of those. Yeah. Or the you know smoldering. I mean, it just looks cool, you know. But yes, uh, we we unfortunately just have some very basic armors here. So I'll take the glamoured studded leather. Well, at least in studded. We do have, like, mithril and stuff, but yeah. So glamoured studded it is. We hope this investment is well worth it. I think it will be. Yeah, same, same, same. So, Wedge, do you want any... Bows? Anything? Look at your look at your bows. He you can. I mean, there's some, but most of them are, you know, short bows or crossbows, or not crossbows. They even been less crossbows. They're just all garbage. And there is no longbows that he can use. I mean, you want some help looking for a longbow? <laughs> we do have. An oath bow, but it's a little funky. An oath bow. <laughs> Lord starts wow. snickering. He hates it. You <laughs> yeah, I'm staying out of that. You have fun with that. I refuse to be in the middle of that. Anymore, and he's going to look like he's ready to throw someone out the window. <laughs> so the oath bow. It's uh it's a it's a long bow. And it does require attunement, but when you knock an arrow to the bow and whisper in elvish swift defeat to my enemies, <laughs> then use it to make an attack range you can say swift death to you who have wronged me and the target of your attack becomes your sworn enemy until it dies or until dawn 7 days later. You only have one such sworn enemy at a time, and when they die, you can choose a new one after the next dawn. When you make the attack roll, uh, you have advantage on the roll. In addition, they gain no benefit from cover other than total cover, and you suffer no disadvantage due to long range. If the attack hits, your sworn enemy takes an extra 3d6 piercing damage. While your sworn enemy lives, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, yeah. You know, floors is just like kind of whispers to Bob. Um, hopefully that doesn't include any that's an elf, right? <laughs> Basically, it's whoever I decide is my sworn enemy. Yes, it's, it's the new sworn enemy machine. You know what? what? I'll take it. I'll take the oath bow. Good, <laughs> good. I live for the choice we just made. One. Yeah. Oh, God. 
Ugh. Just ignore anything I said. <clears throat> so yeah, you uh, he hands you the oath bow. He says, good luck. Uh, it does require attunement, but good bow. I call it Bowie. David I, I Bowie. Think, I think we have enough time. You know, I am actually think I'm going to sit here and start attuning to it. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to see if I find a freaking weapon that actually works. And in, in return, I'm going to give him the regular longbow that I had on me. He's going to look at it and gasp, and then uh, put it away. <laughs> good, good, he's happy. Yeah, yeah. A level five with oath bow. So Jesus while Christ. while you see through it, I mean, it's really not for the reason I wasn't too mad about giving it to you is you already have all those abilities. Yeah, you already have yeah. the ability to ignore cover and basically make uh, attacks at any range. The only thing is now this lets you once a day decide that person gets an extra three d six damage when I hit them. Exactly, yeah. which is really a hunter's mark without the concentration. Pretty much, yeah. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but once again, it's why I was like, it is it is and isn't too rough, but I've also put you guys in some serious situations, so it doesn't make sense to put you in serious situations without giving you tools and abilities to function in those situations. <laughs> Now, the only running gag joke is I could see one sword probably Florence could probably rock with. That isn't a rapier. I bet you it's... I know which one it was. What is it? I gotta look okay. back through this list because it was one of that. Because I was looking through all of the one magic items with finesse because I know that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm, but uh... the problem is, is the catch 22 for this item. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to take a moment and pause my uh, attunement to look at both Carly and uh, Florence. I'm going to need one of you to teach me how to say some stuff in <laughs> Elvish. <laughs> Filthy <Florence>. nelves. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought you... <laughs> because, uh, I don't know how to speak Elvish. See, that's I'm sorry, about. what? <laughs> Florence looks at Carly and is just like, wait, what? You're happy as to you, I'm you, sorry. uh, if you teach it to me, I promise not to use it against you. <laughs> you want me to teach you Elvish? Yes, how just, about this? Just, just, uh, two certain phrases in Elvish. I love I teach it. That was the other reason she was laughing when I was mentioning it. She's just like, you can't use it. Uh, I teach him the phrases. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was, have... that was the one I was thinking of, the sun sword, but it might not have been that one. Yeah, it is, but you see what the catch-22 for me would be. Yeah, I did. <laughs> like I and said, I'm it was like... the exact one, too, because, I, like I said, I was scanning through and I'm looking for fucking finesse weapons, but they hate making magical finesse weapons, apparently. Exactly! See, that's what I'm saying! It's like, well, there's hey. just certain weapons, like bows don't get any love. There's, like, two bows in this whole list. It's awful. I'm gonna start making more custom magic weapons, but for this one, I didn't want to do anything too crazy, so... I wanted to uh, use a couple of classics. There was something else I saw, but it was a spear, I think, and not a rapier. Yeah, but if I'm guessing, is let me guess what spear it was. Was it the trident of? No, that's. Uh, let me see. While you two are shopping, or while you are shopping, I teach Wedge the phrases. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think Yay. it's the blood spear. Uh, no, that's not it. It doesn't have finesse. It's not the blood spear. See, even your feel. And now you know what I feel. Is the pain in the ass. Maybe. Because the only other one I could think of. Oh. Did find a dagger, but that's not very helpful. Yeah, no, that ain't no sh. I'm not. No. Once again, it really does come down to that vicious rapier, unfortunately. Oh, I did. That's right. This was one I'd found, but it's a Here's battle the axe. Thing, though, the vicious weapons suck ass. They do, though. Yeah, that's because why. Because the only magic, the time their magic effect takes place is if you score a critical hit. Exactly, not twenty. In which, yeah, let's put this in perspective. Let me check this one out. 
Shots, he is watching those your are just intently. so much goddamn. The problem is the things that are decent are too good. Like I yeah, they be... don't have an in between. Yeah, like if I could make a degraded, like, well, to be fair, I just did, so I guess I could do it again. I mean, you can make a degraded version of the Sunblade, I think. Because... Oh, you know what? I didn't see this, but Flame Tongue technically fits your standard, doesn't it? Flame. Flame Tongue. I mean, technically, you can give Flame, t flame Tongue to any weapon. Yeah, I could just give you a Flame Tongue Rapier. Or technically, Frostbrand. Because I did have both of those options available. And they or if are she does want Fire or Ice, you could just rename it uh, to like Thunderbrand or something and give it thunder damage. It's true. You could just add that to a regular rapier. Or sonic damage. Because technically rapiers are swords. No, rapiers are just really long daggers because you stab with them. You can't slash with They're rapiers. just ice picks. <laughs> Son of a gun. Alright, I'll be right back <laughs> while you uh, finish that up and discuss your plans a little more among yourself. Also, because I have to use the bathroom, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, gosh. If I just had the ability to get short swords, or at least some form of more melee weapons, that'd be very nice. How do, you think, how do you think I feel? The only thing I get is Oath Bow, and it's only good against one target. Buddy. Oh. Poor baby. Because <laughs> in order for me to use Sworn Enemy again, I have to wait till dawn of the next day after I kill that my Sworn Enemy. Here, sir. Or after seven days if I fail to kill it. So don't fail. Yeah, don't screw up. That's even more intense. Get well, it looks again. like I'm going to have to strong get stronger Venom so I can do, you know, more than 3d8 or half of that on failed saves. So I can combine that with my sworn enemy and just do tons of damage. By the way, where's your snake? Yeah, no, that is the golden question that we know. Uh, yeah, I love how that's just brought up now. Now everyone's realizing it. I'm just waiting to see what uh, someone actually bring it up. He's somewhere. Oh, gosh. Okay. As long as you're not worried. Uh, I'm not worried. It's Sarah show. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to have that uh, Sahagan Prince kick the shit out of all of you. That's true, yeah. I've been wondering when you were going to do it. I'm just waiting. I was just waiting for it. I assumed you were sick, so I thought I just figured it was on the back burner while you were sick. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that's same. Yeah, with things going on, with how they have been going on, it kind of has been on the back burner. Yes. I'm. <sighs> Okay. But. Wedge. Yes. You do, you do know. Once you get the code from me, you put the code in, you tell the other team your code. Okay. Or Who's whatever it is. Team? The other team is the one who is up on the upper left, who's in the secondary security room. Uh -huh. Once that happens, you leave. And you book it to the teleportation point, which is where the stack of colorful chips is. Mm -hmm. And then what do you say? Uh, I'm a pretty princess. Correct. After doing what? Snapping a chip. Yes. Very good. I'm so proud of you. So. <laughs> I, you know, I don't even know where our characters are on the map right now. I can't we're find like, them. We're like sitting oh, outside of Bob's little area. I found them. I was, I was in the wrong corner. Ah. So Florence. Mm -hmm. You're solid on your end. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. You already know that I'm kind of chill with being, uh, you know, the, um, distraction. Bait. <clears throat> yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> so finesse way of putting it. I mean, I'm a bard. That's sort of my whole deal. You know, I'm being BS, right? I already know that that's a boatload of BS. 
I would never give you BS. Liar. Honey. I would never been... lie. Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this face. Look at this face. It's adorable. Almost angelic. Oh you, there is no way this face would lie to you. Oh, gosh. Not great at grab. I mean... She's trying it. Dear gosh, don't you dare. I'm looking to it. I think the only other thing is probably if we want to lead into tridents, is there's a few tridents we can run with, one of them being Wave, and I think the other one was some other one. <laughs> uh, Bidens um, are better than tridents. Wait, what is? <laughs> a Biden. I don't think there is one in this game. Oh, there's, there's, there's Bidens. You just gotta have the right books. I, hi, Key, thought you were talking about the, the, the future president. Bidens, not Biden. I thought you said Biden. No, no, no. Sorry about that guy's bodily functions and whatnot. Yeah, just no, you're fine. All good, dude. You're fine, you're fine. We're sitting here just wondering a lot of crap. Oh god, what are we what? wondering? Them being says. Um, in the meantime, I'm thinking of what the... I'm trying to find some. I mean, I would like to get the one thing, uh, one thing that, like I said, but the thing is, I'm trying to find some way to... I'd have to downgrade it, because it's a legendary, isn't it? What? The, uh, the sun? yeah, the Sunblade. No. You can have a different one? Uh, I think you're thinking of the Sun Sword. That's probably the one I'm thinking of. Sun Sword and Sunblade. The only difference with the Sunblade is it's not sentient. That's the only reason why it's up to Legendary is because of the sentience and probably the um restoration stuff. Uh, if I remember correctly, the um let me. The restoration. Does he even get the restoration shit, or am I thinking of the custom that I had gotten at one point on another character? Um, I think the restoration might have been custom because I'm running over it now. No, there is a restoration I thought I saw at one point because I know I read it at one point. It might be bonus action for a pure radiant blade. If you're proficient uh... with the sun blade if you're proficient with short swords or long swords. Plus two to damage rolls. Which deals radiant instead of... And then the target takes 1d8 radiant. Emits bright light. While it persists, you can expand it to a maximum of 30 feet. Proficiency. Sword. Let me see. <laughs> see, this is why I was like... I thought I saw it at one point. Because it was... Maybe it was. I'm thinking... Why do I feel like I'm thinking of something else? Why do I feel like I'm thinking of something? It might be another blade. I don't think it's the sun blade. Well, for the the heat for the restoration part. Seriously, I I. I, I. I would the only other one I would recommend, but that one has an entombment recommendation, which I don't think I would go for either way. Uh. Oh, I have hiccups. How dare. I mean, only other one I would see is the um, luck blade. But that one's pressing it. Really yeah, yeah. freaking pressing <laughs> That one's a pretty good point. That one's definitely a legendary. I'd have to downgrade it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, gosh. I mean, the Achilles, the other blade would probably work too, but the thing is, that one's rare at most, and I know for a fact I'm not crazy about it. So I'd be fine giving you a downgraded version of the Luck Blade. I just have to cut off the Wish Spell part. Oh 
Oh gosh. But then it's just a, a, pl a, a plus, basically, to your proficiency as on saving throws. I mean, it also gives a plus one, but... I was wondering if there was an item that gives you proficiencies in short swords, at least short swords. Then again, I'm quick question. All those um spell stored um slots, spell stored, you know, mm -hmm. from winning. Cause I know we got some of those. Any chance there's one that any chance there's some way of, you know, exchanging them for? Martial weapon mastery, or at <laughs> least a short sword? <laughs> or, come on, I am running thinking numbers here. That's the only other thing I can think of. Without just going nuts. Um... Looking for solution right now. Yeah. Because you're easy. not the only wizard who has asked this question. Oh, shoot. Yes. Man, it's almost like you should, uh, you know, multi class into something that gives you proficiency with simple weapons. You'd also just grab an extra feat to do it, but. Well, that too. I mean, technically, I could just put one level into fighter and not call it a day, but do you really want me to be the fighter here? Think about that for a second. Do you really want I me mean, to be I mean, at least you should be useful in combat. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, really? You want to say that again? What? Like I said, you go deal with the Mind Flare and tell me that again. This is your answer, and I can. I'm already Excuse dealing me. with the guards. Excuse me. I'm dealing with the Mind Flare, and all three of us are dealing with the guards. You're going first, then. I mean, he started that one because he started the shit. If you're gonna continue shit, be accurate. I'm dealing with the Mind Flayer. I know <laughs> that, but I'm just saying, if he's gonna tell crap that I... He started that dealing with the guards crap. I mean, if I need to, I'll deal with the Mind Flayer after I deal with the guards. Shit, the Mind Flayer might look at you and laugh his ass off. Only one way to find That's out. That's okay. I I trust I trust my seventeen wisdom score. <laughs> of course you do. Okay. Well, you heard you heard him. I said nothing else. I I just rest my case. If only you were also, a high elf or a wood elf. I I also trust my plus seventeen to stealth. I mean, if I had you know, like I said. This doesn't help you now, but you can technically just train for it. <laughs> if you spend a commit, like, I think it's like 46 days. Yeah, 1d4, 6 days, you can gain proficiency with a weapon or a skill. Oh, uh, let me give you the, let me see. Uh, it should be, I think the thing I'm referencing is on DMG 231. Let's get down to business. To defeat. The Kraken. To be fair, we are not defeating Carlos. That would be a way bigger mission. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, what are we going to do? Dude, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll use my oath bow to kill him. I don't think I have enough arrows for that. No, you do not. Here's the plan. I, mean, I, have, we I have 36 arrows left. To be fair, you know what you could do, right? But I'm not gonna... If you hit all of those arrows with crits, you could probably kill him. You gotta remember, some of those are also uh, poisoned with Sarah Show's Venom. I'm not sure if the Kraken is immune to poison or not. Probably not. Well, if he was immune to poison, then there's no point in drugging him. Drugs and poison aren't the same thing, goddammit. People think they are. But it's the same thing as like poison and venom not being the same thing. Caffeine is a poison. I mean, it's also a drug. Mm. 
But you just said they're not the same. I didn't say they weren't <laughs> always the same. <laughs> You're a beast. Ah, oh, no, he, he can do it in less than 30 arrows. As long as they all hit and, you know, do a good damage. Oh, well, let's see here. Um, but... So you're going to... The real question know... is getting away from his lightning storm. <laughs> can, 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 can I stay 600 feet away from him? Uh, I mean, you can try. I don't know how fast his movement speed is, but it's probably not that big, right? I'm going to leave that alone before I literally face... It really is not good. Because as a level 5 ranger, I can attack twice per round. I am um, quick question, um, Axel. Are you taking into account that Florence is intelligence modifier? Hmm, no. Exactly. That's what I thought. Because if I remember, am I reading it right? But with DMG, right? Any chance I can get the link to the DMG on that page? Sure. Let me see if I can find it. Uh. Let me. See. Let me see. No. Shield training. Training. T- so oh, I, I can get the link to the thing, but I don't actually think it'll let me link the exact page. Um, but it's downtime training, Xanaf- uh, Xanathar's Guide, or the Dungeon Jet There's probably another section in Xanthar's that amends it, but I think the yeah. one that's in mine I'm talking about is the DMG. It should be yeah. 2... what was it? 2.30? Oh god. Uh... Training. Oh god, how do I zoom? Yeah. There we go. All right. So character might be offered blah blah blah. In lieu of financial reward. This kind of train is widely isn't widely available and thus highly desirable. Private train. Recluse. Yeah. So this is basically yeah. the section that deals with it. This is a slower way to get it, but this is a way to do it. Yeah, but it does not explain that there because Xanathar's guide expands on it i think i mean it expands it but it's it's one of those uh uh given free time because it does tell about the cost being you know roughly yeah, that's also cost. That's assuming that you're paying for it, though. Yeah. As opposed to See. maybe getting it as a reward. Uh, yeah. well, training involved the teacher every ten work weeks, spending training being a ten percent chance of a complication. See, and this and one is a much larger uh, time frame when you look at it like that. Yeah, as well as it does. Uh, but this number is reduced by the work weight of equal to the character modifier. An intel as an intelligence penalty does not. Doesn't increase the time needed, though. Yeah, so it would decrease your time by a matter of weeks. Yeah, from what I'm understanding. So they're saying. Tra- okay. To the modifier, a reduced at least ten reduced by your modifier, which is what three or four. Uh, for intelligence. Yeah. Um, for intelligence, four. So it would be reduced to six by that. Mark, which is a work week, which is only five days. So that's five by six. So take you like a month to learn how to yeah. use this, which kind of makes sense. You know, take you a month yeah. to learn the sword. That's one way to do it without actually having to, uh, you know, give up resources. Just a little bit of time. Yeah, which. I mean, I highly doubt Bob is going to let me take this sword for later. <laughs> Bob is going to be like, no, nah, if you can't use it, why the hell are you buying it? It's like, why do you need, I don't know, Bob doesn't ask questions. Except for, okay. except for, do you got the money? Which, obviously, he's not asking that this time, but usually that's the only question Bob asks. Yeah. Also, do you know, 
about pottery. Sadly, no, but I do know how to swim. Right, so, I just did a whole bunch of rolls mm -hmm. for test damages and stuff. I'm averaging about 17 damage a hit without the the poison from Sarah Show. Right. And the highest I can do non-crit is 30. The lowest I can do non-crit is 8. So, but, uh, yeah, you have luckily magical it. attacks now, or else you would do no damage. Besides <laughs> poisoning. Because <laughs> I forgot this dude's uh, immune to lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, but still, I'm gonna need a weapon to use. Be able to use. That's the key term here. <laughs> Which I still think that that is a that is a rip off. That they have barely any, and they have how many books released? Nothing for hardly a. Uh, a yeah, they just don't yes. like rapiers. They don't like making new weapons, which is weird to me. You're not making new weapons. You're making ones for Ace. Uh, aye, aye, aye. Nah, V2, baby. Funny enough, there is a weapon called Bob, but it's a battle axe. So it makes his day a little bit. I mean, that'd be an interesting conversation to have while looking through that. <laughs> hey, did you know that they named a weapon after you? That must feel good. No, they named a weapon after you, not me. Yay! Yeah, Was it Bob? Kind of I didn't know they would name a weapon Bob. Yeah, no, and she points to it, and she is the bat, like the battle axe. <laughs> oh, Bob. Yeah. Oh, I also forgot. If I wanted to, I could uh, use Hail of Thorns for an additional one d ten damage. Mm -hmm. Oh no! And now I remember where I'm, I'm getting that Lesser Restoration from. Dawnbringer. Hmm. That's another. It's the legendary variation. That's essentially it. Wait, it you like, know, I've never, like, I have never yeah. checked this, and I need to. Yeah, there's a. No, there's... It's a, just something else. Something else. Oh. About oh. about how big is that area that Carlos is in? Like, is it confined to a certain area? Yeah, he's in the pool that surrounds this place. So All right. Was about, about how big is that? Yeah, it's like a lake. Right. It's probably a couple hundred Diameter. feet. I was going to say, because I forgot, I have the spell Silence, which covers a 120-foot area. Go figure. Dawn, a Dawnbringer. No wonder I was like, wait a minute, I know I'm not losing my mind. There's like three names for this kind of weapon? What the heck? That's the kicker of the year. I mean, silence is an interesting spell. I'm not sure if it would stop his magic, because I don't know if his has any verbal components. You would think it would, considering almost every single spell in existence has a verbal component. Yeah, but most creatures don't have to speak spells. They just use them as natural abilities. Yeah. And what's the point of calling them spells, then? Just call them natural fucking abilities. Well, they, use, they say it under their description as use this spell as a natural ability. Some of them or do cast well. some of them do cast spells like the Mind Flare, but that's different. It's at will or psionics. I could sit here and be smartass, but I'm gonna leave that at, alone. At will is kind of a liberal term because usually there's a cooldown period, so technically it's not at will. Also, I don't think the the Kraken is a magically focused creature. It has one magic spell, I think. Let me see. Which, it's not a spell, it's just natural lightning storm. 
Uh, uh, what it what it's really focused on is it actually does its big focus in fighting is fling. It looks like fling. So it, one of its legendary actions, as well as an action it can just change for one of its regular attacks, is fling, in which one large or smaller object held or creature grappled by the kraken is thrown up to sixty feet in a random direction and knocked prone. If a thrown target strikes solid surface, the target takes 3 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet it was thrown. And if the target is thrown at another creature, that creature must succeed on a d... How? If it's thrown in a random direction, how do you determine if it's thrown at somebody? Some... It, it, basically, it sounds like it's based entirely off of a d100. This is a random... But, yeah, so basically that, then they have to succeed on a dexterity throw or be knocked prone... Uh, and he can do that all the goddamn time because it's a legendary action. So he can do it on your turn, my turn, everybody's turn. Um, but how many legendary? He only he, gets three legendary actions. He does, but that's every round. Every time, buddy. Every time he gets to his turn, it yep. refreshes. So that means every time in between. Sorry, yeah, every battle round, he gets a new set of legendary actions, and uh, tentacle only uses one uh, use of it. Lightning storm costs two, though. He also I ignores d difficult terrain and cannot have his speed reduced or restrained. Huh. That's just weird stuff they add to some of the creatures. Also, don't forget, this is a really? named Kraken. This is Carlos the Kraken. He's he's probably got some stuff hidden up his butt. Really? Really? You're gonna start crying now because mommy has to go to bed? You a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to look at. Um, the rapier thing I was talking about? Not oh, rapier, no. but longsword? I still was looking through a bunch of them, but there's just nothing that we could do to give you the power immediately, basically. There's no spells or magic items that give you proficiencies. I mean, not one that would be written easy. Makes sense. I said I could invent a new one. <laughs> that would be about it. We're in a casino that deals with proficiencies, right? Why not just gamble yeah, that's what a I was thinking that, but I was like, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I was just like, that's what I was kind of pointing to with the fact that she has those um spell, um spell things, spell slots, stored spell slots thing. But that's gambling, not really exchanging. That's what I was saying. She can exchange them for it. No, 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 no. This is a casino. They gamble here. They don't really exchange. Do you kept, would you pick up what I'm putting down here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, you did make that wisecrack joke earlier of... I feel like a chaotic evil character should not have oath, though. Look, man... <laughs> you have an oath to be totally evil and chaotic, man. You be my guess. It. Oh, God. You don't said it. I'm chaotic neutral. I can give, I can use what the winds tell me I can use. You see what and actually, you're, you're the winds. I am the wind. wind. Yay. Oh, Weapon of Certain Death. That's reasonable. That's, I guess, pretty much all I know. It's gonna be so ridiculous when Wedge gets higher level and starts going into Scout. Oh, oh my god. Adding that sneak attack damage onto it with... Oh, oh. I think, uh... Well, while uh, Carly's just staring at Wedge, uh, do, uh, acclimating himself to his bow, and I'm like, I think Wedge might need to get a room. 
<laughs> now you're just thinking of that joke. Yeah. Listen, oh. Greg, call me sometime oh. this time. Ooh. Uh, what about the sword of wounding? It could be any sword, so it could be a rapier. True. A rapier is not a sword; it's a long dagger. It's an ice pick. I swear to gosh, I'm gonna bash. It, it's an oddly shaped ice pick because you stab, not slash. You have a short dagger. I swear to gosh, I'm, I'm bapping both of you on. I'm kidding, Michael. I love you. Hey, hey. Hey. That joke was directed at Wedge. <laughs> I mean, I'd be alright with doing a sort of wounding rapier. Uh, yeah, that's either that or... I mean, you can also do nine live stealer. The only other thing I can think of. I am sorry if I'm making you look through a lot of weapons. <laughs> uh, you could do this one technically. Although this one is a very rare sword, so it's still pretty out there for your level. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I'd be alright with it, especially just because it only has so many charges. Yeah. And, uh, you usually have to roll it at the start of the sword. At the start of the day sort of deal. Uh, actually, the Nine Lives Stealer is a permanent stat. It's, oh. Yeah, so once you use the Nine Lives, it's done. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, when the sword has no charges remaining, it loses this property. It does res retain its original uh, bonus damage in attack rolls, though, which is why I'm all right with you keeping it, because it's still it's a nice kind of trump card if you're lucky, but yeah. it's something that you also can't necessarily tell just by looking at something. Although, in general, you can tell some things are just, you know, I mean, weaker than that. <laughs> yeah. It's either that or the um, sort of wounding, but the thing about the wounding thing is Okay. The wounding thing is supposed to be more of a drawn out weapon. I mean, that would work. I mean, that's the only other thing I can think of. Only other thing I can think of is one more thing from him, but it's more of an amulet. Uh, I'm not even looking for the one ring that they have on there. I'm not going to try going for that. Um, I'm trying to keep this down to a minimum. As much as the ring of regeneration is nice, I already know that is not happening. Yeah, no, that was a little too OP for you guys right now. But the amulet of help? Hmm... I remember correctly. I mean, it's good for the local eight and wizards to have HP. It's also a rare item. Not necessarily very rare. It's actually a yeah. wondrous rare item, too. Yeah. I think it's still a little bit outside of your guys' current purview. <coughs> That's more of a level 10 item. 10. Yeah. 10, okay. It's usually where I would start introducing an amulet that could max out your ability score. It's funny that they have that one, but there's not an equivalent one for every stat. I mean, uh, yeah, to my knowledge, there's only that one, and then there's a few of them for strength. But <laughs> I believe there's the strength one's also required to be paired with another magical item. Because uh, I believe it's the Storm Giant Belt and some hammer that goes with it. Um, but let's see. Do you have the... Yeah, they don't have much for the other ones, like the other stats. But they do have um things, books. 
if I remember correctly, because I remember looking at it for a Yeah, some second, of the cause... books have some stuff, because they're, uh, aren't they consumables, though? A lot of them, you read them, and then you're granted the power from the book, or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think, because I did see a book. Book. There, there are a few of those, but I think those also have a limit that goes up to 20. I don't think they can take you above 20. Oh, uh, actually, here it is. Here it is. Tome of Clear Mind, Tome of uh, Leadership and Influence, Tome of Steel Tongue, tom- Tome of Understanding. You would have to spend 48 hours, though, uh, over a period of two, uh, six or days or lit fewer to studying the book's content. As well as the maximum for that score goes up by two. Oh. Mm-hmm. But I believe you are limited to only one book per stat. Mm-mm-mm. It doesn't say that. I think you're thinking of the those legendary books, though. Could be. I don't know. There's a lot of D&D items that I don't play around I mean, Axel, uh, you know, point it out. Because there is a still tone. Uh, oh no, this is the legendary book. The still, uh, the tome of the still tongue is the one that probably, yeah, I that is only allowed to wizards, and it's legendary. That's the legendary one in which I don't think Axel will no way in hell give it to me. And even if he did, no way in hell I would take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the yeah. No, I already know who it's from. But I'm looking at it. I'm slowly thinking, no, no, nerd. How am I a nerd? Because you're not taking your, like, really cool wizard book. I'm not taking that book, especially it's from, you know, uh, there's an asshole. There's a reason why I'm not taking it. I don't know what that is, so to me, you're just a nerd. Okay, then. So, fine, then. You don't want the Tome of Leadership and Influence, then. I do want that book. No, you don't. It's what? Not for, it's not meant for bards. Lots of things aren't meant for bards, but I have them. Technically, due to bard being how they are. Yeah, I know I'm being a smartass, too. Anything's open to bards. I do. Anything, everything is made for me. Oh my gosh, get the heck out of here with that shit. Everything yeah, is bard, made for me. All trade bullshit. See, see. I'm made... so cool. I'm so good. Except I'm chaotic neutral. Oh god. <clears throat> so, uh, let me let me go back to what I was laugh- not trying to laugh my ass off over. <laughs> oh gosh. Everything meant... is made for me. So any chance girl is going to get me the get me the uh sun uh, the sunblade thing. Uh and the maybe s- the weapon? Sunblade? Yeah. Cause maybe I can take it for later. Uh, he says he guesses he could give you the sunblade, but you have to you have to to owe him a favor <laughs> that he will call upon at a future date. Okay, never mind. I can never mind. <laughs> no, Damn. no, no. You'd be surprised how often people accept those open favors, man. Yeah, hey, Bob, bag of holding. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's that. Yeah, no, we were about to get into that. Me talking a lot of crap. I think you're just laughing my ass off. Yeah, no, we need those bag of holdings. At or least one. Or, yeah, yeah, do nice. Um, What else could be nice? Mm-hmm. So I was just thinking about buying Hades. That's pretty good. I've been playing it for yeah. the last 17 hours. Yeah, no, I've been seeing. How, how how has the torture been for you? I put on God Mode, and I still haven't beaten Hades in 34 attempts. <laughs> Which one's God Mode? Is that the hardest one? I did the hardest one. No, that's the easy one. Oh. Um, 
God mode is basically like you start with like a base 20% resistance, but then every time you die, you get two additional points of resistance against all damage uh, until you get to 80 and then it's capped. I haven't reached the cap yet. <laughs> I'm, in, uh, oh, no. I'm in the hardest mode you can do. I'm this close oh, to fucking beating the game. God damn asshole had a third phase. <laughs> oh, let me what guess. Phase? Your deal? No, you got the pack to pain. Uh, yeah, whatever. The hardest five all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, that is the hardest thing because yep. you can set the difficult. Yeah, no, that is a. Bad. I always set my game to the hardest difficulty. I have not, I but I, 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 but I have unlocked it in the form of dealing with Hades about four different times. Yeah, he's. I always a little tough on the. On the uh, the hardest version, I probably would have beat him already on the regular versions because uh, you know not all the modifiers, but yeah, on the hardest version, he's a little asshole. Yeah, no, I know that he's an asshole. I, I always set my Jedi games. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, it's I always set game. my games to the easiest difficulty because I like playing games for fun. Yeah, but I have fun having a challenge. There are four people talking at once there. Yeah! Sorry. Including both of my split personalities. And the third <laughs> one. But what were you saying? One at a time. Axel, what were you saying? Who the f remembers? <laughs> no, I think Fair. he was saying he, he enjoys his games hard and miserable, but he enjoys the fun of it. Yeah, if it's too easy, it's boring. Yeah, no, that's accurate. It's like I like playing the story. Minecraft. Oh, no! I like the story too. Yes, I have a really good story to keep me entertained. I don't think I've ever played a game that I would have played just for the story to date. Yeah, no, that's I, why. I, okay, I, okay, I, okay, I, okay. I, wait, wait, wait. All right, I take it back. Gears three. It's the only one. What about Gears five? Fuck that one. <laughs> Fuck all the other Gears stories. <laughs> Seriously, though, most of the Gears story is not great. <laughs> Just, just and that's coming from a guy who loves Gears of War. <laughs> just see, I I can't say anything about it because the only one I've ever played is Gears Five. Yeah, it's because you're garbage. <laughs> no, it's because I didn't own an Xbox. I owned a PS3. Like I just said. <laughs> 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 Fucking weebs. <laughs> What a yeah, dick. Uh, <laughs> and, and then I play Hades right in the middle as a normal mode and just want to beat the freaking story and deal with him later. I mean, that's some here's my thing. I play for personal right on the hardest version basically there is. Or I guess the first one I play through is the hardest version. Then I'll go through on normal when I have to I do, do like know. extra stuff. I started playing on normal. But then I was like, man, I'm getting frustrated. I'm going to put on God mode. And then, <laughs> if you, if you then I immediately, frustrated. Did you immediately go to the second phase of Hades. Oh, man. I there's... freaked out the whole time. Yeah, it's, oh. it's pretty easy once you start taking off some of those side things. Or when you start, like, upgrading your person. Because yeah. to start off with, it's basically damn impossible on packed mode. You got to get extra yeah. health and shit. There's, like, no goddamn way. You you take as much damage in like one hit from some of those bosses as you uh, have in the original one. It's too much. I I mean, yeah. uh, there's ways, but I'm sure. But fuck, man, that shit is rough on the pack mode. Yeah, I, no, I tried a no. little bit, I think, on non pack mode, but I I, I, I quickly was uh, like, this. I'm going back to the other one. Yeah, no, I did ran it without the pack mode, and I still have a hard time because shoot. I have a hard time because I'm bad at games. I mean, that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. Um, but yeah, though. Always got to hit people uh, with that necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you don't know my life. You don't know that. I don't, but I also don't know not know that. Alrighty, uh, so uh, now uh, what? Um, all right, the um bags of holdings or a bag of holding or something of the. Uh, essence of something up along that line. Do we all get a bag holding, or does everyone just kind of get a sure one? Just gotta be a kind of dangerous. All right, so 
Wait, which one would, did we decide on again? Oh, we want a bag of holding. Oh, never mind. Sorry. No, no, no. First deal with this bag of holding. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. I can give you two bags of holding. Lock them. I can't do three. Can well, then we just give Wedge a really big bag? I mean, I have this sack back here that we used to carry uh, people in. That seems good. He's yeah. the strongest of us, so I think that should work. Yeah. Alright, you want mm -hmm. the people sack? That's what I call it. The what sack? The people sack. sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then two bags of holding. Yeah. Alrighty. And uh, I don't suppose you have any money for this one either, huh? Uh, nope. That's what I thought. Well, I guess I give him to you on the thing, but you, this is cutting into your share. I just hope you all know that. It's not that we're doing this on purpose. It's just that we didn't. Uh, we kind of got. There's an interesting story, but this is not the time or the place to have it. But it'd be an interesting story to share if you're interested in hearing it at a later date. Uh, I mean, when you got time, maybe. Yeah, it's an interesting story. It involves a carnival. A mimic that ate all of our shit, and now we came here naked. Yeah, it's, yeah, essentially. Anyway, um, so <laughs> the national. <laughs> I like how we're so <laughs> chill about that story. At least giving the the synopsis of that story. Yeah. Totally normal. We've been through a traumatic event. That's totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Bob, um. What do you know about the head of financials? Mm -hmm. That's the next thing. Well, uh, I actually don't know shit about him. You're going to have to talk to uh, one of our correspondents in the field. Correspondents in the field. Would you point one of us? Would you point them out to one of us? Uh, well, you can't you know, really see him right from particularly here because he's, uh, he's hiding out. He should be in one of the rooms in the suite on the opposite side of us. You'll you'll have to go in his uh his you're gonna have to look around for him. I'm not we try to keep this as uh, hush hush as we can, you know. So I'm not mm -hmm. exactly sure who it is. Uh, you could ask Donnie, but I have a feeling that uh, Donnie doesn't know either. I don't think Donnie knows. Quack, Donnie feels so insulted that you would assume that, but he doesn't. You're racist, Donnie. I don't care about hurting your feelings. Quack, Donnie says racists have feelings, too. So they're over here? Yes. Over here, you say? Yeah. Okay, cool. Back, back in that area. One of those rooms. Okie dokie. Okay. So, do you know anything about how I would be able to tell that this is the person we're looking for? Hmm. I'd probably just walk up with Donnie. Okay. I will pick up Donnie. I don't want these, but I want to keep these. I don't want these, I want to keep these. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, go. good luck. Wait a minute, did okay. I ever get my weapon, though? <laughs> oh yeah, I thought, you dealt, I thought you dealt with that. No, I didn't. No, I did not grab that weapon yet, though. Which one did you want? Oh. Um... And that's why. <laughs> you know what? And that's why. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is why this happens. This is why we don't bring this up. So this is why we don't bring this question up. The question of which magical item you're getting? Yes, more weapon wise. Oh gosh, this is hilarious. <laughs> How about this? I just take a plus two freaking rapier and call it a day. There you go. Good just for you. Just call it a. Cause I mean, we're done. We're done with this, right? <laughs> Cause if I don't I keep know. Going... Are we? <laughs> oh my god! If we keep this going, I will literally hope that this doesn't turn into a meme joke. Said I could have already drawn a meme on this. Just Florence at the window while Wedge and Tyler are just pulling on her cape. Come on! <laughs> and I'm just like, but give me a minute. They never sell rapiers. <laughs> My fault that shoot. 
you blame me that for this? Is. You picked wizard. You chose when you were a tiny little sea elf uh, uh, tadpole. When you were a little Excuse tadpole. Me? When you were a little tadpole, you were the one who decided to be a wizard. I am a bard. I could use any fucking weapon I want to. I mean... You can me. me. You can I'm gonna me. stop you there before you keep it. I mean, do you really Everything is made for me. Uh... Who won the world? Bards. Who won the world? Bards. Uh huh. You can't use martial. Really, not many martial weapons. I can use anything, everything. I can use anything and everything I want to. I'm super talented and special. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you wanted the DOS loot. You could have anything in the world, but you took the DOS loot. I'm a bard! <laughs> Look how shiny my loot is! Mm -hmm. It's so pretty! Mm -hmm. You good there? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, but Florence does look towards Bob and ask, um, any chance after we get off of this thing, do you know anyone that sells any more magical items that Ooh. maybe probably be up my alley or just not, because I'm not trying to take up these guys. Uh, you, know? you might be able to find some people, but, uh, you, you, the stuff you need isn't usually sold too often. I know. Or made too often. Yeah. I mean, I could ask for one more thing, but I'm I'm crossing it. I'm really pushing it, aren't I? Hey, it's a uh, it's up to you and your fellow uh, team members to decide how long they're willing to let you stand there and cut it and uh, yeah, try no, to no, find no, no, new no, no. items. I mean, I mean, the only other I mean, the only other thing I was thinking of made some like spell shard. See, this is where I'm gonna stop. My head. Don't we have spell shards? Uh, no, no, did you keep them from the other day? I kept them. I kept mine. I don't remember us getting any spell shards. Isn't that what the stones are? Level 1 and 2? No. No, those were the tokens that weren't used in the, um, one area. Yeah, they're but both they're tokens and spell shards. Yeah, they work as, like, spell slots. No, 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 not, not spell slots. Sorry, yeah, they're not specifically spell shards, no. No, because you know what I mean when I say spell yeah, shards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I was They're supposed to, to be that. called spell stones. Yeah, spell stones, but not spell shards. In which there's a difference. Oh. There's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. Don't you dare mock me. There's a difference. How? Oh. Lord's got a that are disbelief. See, this is what I'm dealing with. I'll give you another hug. Don't test me. What you gonna do? I'm coming for the hug. I'm coming for the hug. Lord, <laughs> do you want a hug? <laughs> I give her a hug. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Oh, do you fight me on it? Oh, why not? Not I. I, I might as well not. But wait, cool. did we did we ever sort out the armor thing though? Did oh, we? the glamour. Gla <laughs> yeah, glamour. <laughs> okay, it was studded. My bad. My brain is trying to keep up with things because we <laughs> sort these things out. It never did. I didn't. I'm put, not putting them in. It's not like I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this on purpose. Just want to make sure I'm getting this. Oh gosh. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Now I got it set up. I'm just. And we each have a bag of holding, right? Except for Wedge, who has a people sack. That's nice. If nothing else, we can always make it into a magic bag of holding, right? I mean, the, the, the material of it is not bad, right? Aren't they both? They're, they're bags of holding. A bag of holding is a bag of holding. I know, but can't you make the people bag into a bag of holding? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd turn any bag into a bag of holding. 
Exactly. See? Well, maybe not any big. Uh, oh gosh, we're just dear. So, if we're done with Bob, I say thank you so much, Bob. I will give you, I will give you the gift. I will give you a gift of. Um, hmm. I will give you five gold pieces. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Thank you very much for tolerating our mad. Bob takes us the five gold pieces. <laughs> And he says, well, I, uh, I wish you good luck. That took about an hour. <laughs> yeah. Like a solid hour of just talking with Bob. I bet he enjoyed the little crap out of Bob likes talking about weapons. But, uh, yeah, so now you're down another hour. I don't know what time it currently is, but... It'd probably be, like, 5.30. I'd say what probably 6, because you also had that time where you're breaking down the, uh... The... the... That's true. Yeah. So it's probably yeah. six. Six in the morning. What time does that heist go? When the party stops. No, uh, the heist is supposed to go around a little before the stop off. So right around two or three is when the heist starts. And heist then... starts at 2 p.m. I mean, two, two or three. three two or three p.m. Got it. Okay. Hey, my cat, cat, can you stop being a fucker? Thank you. Um, okay. So I, we now, I now go over to the, uh, I pick up Donnie in my arms. And I walk over to where our, uh, field officer, field agent is. Where's my player? Where's my person? There's my person. Dar, she blows. I walk, I walk over here. Okay, Donnie is there. And I peep in this room. Is there anyone in there? Uh, yes. It is a naked beholder. Oh, gosh. Huh! I'm waiting for the inevitable comment. Uh, a naked beholder? Sorry, do you recognize this duck? I don't remember what language they speak. Uh, oh gosh, that is going to be a field. Do you want me to answer that? I got it. Uh, I believe... Deep speech and undercommon. Yeah. Undercommon, yeah. Not common. I don't speak either of those languages. I do. So this is gonna be a funnier five minutes. Yeah, so it just goes. Yeah, he speaks the undercommon at least. Um, deep speech not so okay. much. Okay. Would... Are you with us? I mean, why not? I mean, I can't kind of leave after <laughs> I've done shit. So tell me what he said. Like, sure you could. Who's stopping you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I don't think there was me to be that brick. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, well, who leaves a bunch of people when there's free loot out of it? So, so, what, I don't know what he said. I don't know what the boulder said. It said, what duck? Uh, it said, what duck? Mm. Sorry. Sorry for bothering you momentarily disappear. It's all good. No problem. I say, I say, sorry for bothering you, and I shut the door again, and I peep into this room. Okay. What's in there? Nothing. Literally nothing. It's a door to the void. Only black space exists beyond it. Okay, I don't think he's in there. And so I close the door. Before and I you go into do, this room. Donnie quacks and it echoes, but doesn't, you know, echo back. That's fucking weird, Donnie. Quack. 
We're all freaking weird in. Then I go into this room. I love that you're just going room by room. I don't know where he is. I also assume you just like, alright, fuck it, I just, I go in. Fuck these locks oh, yeah. and these doors. Oh yeah, I knock on the door. <laughs> this is just great. This is happening. Oh, <laughs> is just, just so kind of chilling funny. on the side. <laughs> I just love it when shit like that goes down where it's like, I go in, I was like, do you go in? Uh, so you knock, and uh, the door opens to a uh, satyr. Who says, Hello. what you want? Do you recognize this duck? Oh, I might. I may, in duck, fact. Do you recognize this satyr? Quack. I don't know uh... what that means. He says, uh, I don't even know what a satyr is. At least that's what I think he said. Well, you too. I don't know what you are. I'm a catharsis. Clearly. Or am I insulted? I still can't figure it out. I think you're catharsis. I still think I'm insulted. Anyway. You can be both. All right, fine. If you say so. Anyway. But do you, do you recognize this duck for like for real? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks fine. Why? What's special about it? He kind of eyes you funnily. It's my pet duck. But ducks and don't make good pets. I say thank you for your time, and I walk away. <laughs> he he kind of shuts his door angrily. Oh, damn, I wasted time. I thought I was doing some action. <laughs> Alrighty. And I knock on the door. What was Florence doing? Just deeply sighing and watching this shit go on. Alright, so uh, <laughs> when, when you do that, the door knocks back. I knock again. Uh, it knocks again. I make, a, I make that cool sound like bop, 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 bop. Uh, it does ba 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 And then it continues on into... Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence is watching this chaos. Quack. I don't think it's... Donnie shrugs. Verbally. Hmm. Okay. So then I go over to this room. Alrighty. And uh, as soon as you step up to the room, the, the front of the door glows blue. I take a step back. And it's no longer glowing blue. I attempt to knock on the door. Uh, the door opens. I look inside. You don't see anybody quite yet. Donnie, is there anybody here? Quack. Donnie says that you have a stalker. I have a stalker? Yeah, stalker. I mean, all famous bards have a stalker. It's not really. Quack. Well, we said that this one's not yours, really. Quack. Whose is it? Uh, he says he doesn't really know who it belongs to. So there's just a stalker in this room that we can't see? Quack. Yeah. Some cool. chick. Some chick. Yeah. She hot? Well, I don't know. She's invisible. Then how do you know it's a trick? I don't know. Donnie told me. Quack. Donnie, is he hot? Quack. Hell he said, yeah. He said, yeah. I don't know if you could tell by his tone. Is they? <laughs> Just... Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. So I lean in my head a little bit and see if I can see anybody. Uh, nope. I, I, I do that thing where, like, wait, no, wait. 
Donnie, where in the room is she? Quack. Uh, it says she's in the chair. I walk over to the chair. All right. Hi. Uh, you hear a kind of like airy, wispy noise coming from the chair. Quack. Donnie says she doesn't speak common. Well, she understands it, but doesn't speak it. Uh, I have Celestial. Yeah, no, not that one. Elvish? Nah. Sylvan? No, I don't think it's that one. Draconic? Does anyone here speak air? <sighs> I just breathe. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's exactly it. Can I perceive what's in the chair? Um, I mean, you can try. Uh, dirty 20? Yeah, no. I mean, you kind of get the sense something's there, but you cannot see it. Can I just very gently try and poke what's in the chair? Uh, you try and you feel something smacking your hand away. Oh, sorry. Good job. You said, don't touch my boob. Well, I wouldn't do that without consent, and then I wink in the general direction of the chair. Unfortunately for you, they have moved. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, don't move, because then you can't see my flirting wink. <laughs> but don't he says they're in the hallway now. Why is why is air following us? Quack. Donnie says this is the contact. Oh, well, all right then. Quack. Um Donnie says he also doesn't speak uh whatever language that they're speaking. Right. He's just making basic guesses. Oh, I have an idea. And I would grab your hand, Air, if I knew where it was. But let's go over over here. And then over here. And then over here. And then over here. And then oh whoop. And then over here. And then right here. And then in here. And then we sit on the chair. Ah, uh, much better. Yay. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. What's your name? My name is Aria. Aria? Yes. Now, are you the contact we're looking for? Do you recognize this duck? Yes, I recognize Donnie. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, like, what do you know about... Oops, hit the mic. What do you know about the the Mind Flayer who's the head of financials? What might he like? Mm, well, I know that he likes money. He likes mental power. He likes magic. He likes the M word. M word? Yeah, like the literal word M. Okay. And uh, besides that, uh, there doesn't seem to be much else. He's very simple and simply motivated. He doesn't have too much of a sense of honor. Uh, I've been trying to figure out exactly what his password contains, whether it's a card or on a piece of paper or what exactly it is. However, I have not been able to determine that. I've only been able to determine that it's hidden somewhere in his office. Oh, isn't that delightful? Wait. He, he, uh, oh, I'm I, I was also able to determine that it's magical in nature. Magical in nature. Yep. Of course it is. 
Yeah, that's also another thing. But also, I'm not going over there to deal with a um, player that probably would like to eat my happy little brains out. Well, you know. you know. I don't know if you're on the couch or not, but... I mean... Are you on the couch? Well, I mean, you're obviously on the couch. I just don't know if Lawrence is on the couch. I mean, what what language is she speaking? Foreign. Oh. It's the oh. only thing it speaks. What mm. is it, anyway? What is? I project? told you, it's a stalker. <laughs> oh, in like a literal... In a literal invisible stalker, yes. <laughs> My wordplay uh. works again. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Matt. Okay, I'm sorry. I was like, what are you joking, Leo? Oh, I see what that joke is. Um, sadly, not entirely. The only close thing would... The best only other way would probably be her um, doing that whole comprehend language thing as a ritual. E. Or you could sit on the chair with us. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. That's a wonderful idea. That's uh, not a. You know, that first one was a more of a plan B than anything. So. Okay. Okay. So there's not really anything that we could offer him in a deal, per se. Well, I mean, perhaps if you were able to offer him, you know, exactly what it, he needed or a very substantial amount. I'm not sure how much. Mean? I don't really know. He seems to be guarded. Once again, he seems to like money and mental powers and magic. The same thing as most mind flayers. Also, the word M. It's very oh. interesting. M. I feel like this is some kind of puzzle. <laughs> you know what solves puzzles? Swords? What? Arrows to the face. I feel like that does not solve puzzles. Sure it does. This is why you have a lot of puzzles in the basement, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> is there like a check I could do to see like if there's anything I can think of with the letter M that a mind flayer might want? A lady mind flayer, maybe? A man? <laughs> oh! Oh, Wedge, you want to take my place? <laughs> but your brain. Um, it's perfect. It's so round. <laughs> wedge, wedge don't fling that way with uh, mind flayers. Wedge, so smooth, brain. You're not into that, you're not into that tentacle shit? Not from a mind flare. I'll take it <laughs> for a mind flare. Damn, all right. That's the big. But tentacles. is there like some kind of maybe like an intelligence check? Sure, you could do. I guess a intelligence check to see if you could deduce something. Hmm. That's a six. Uh, for some reason, you think of the word Machiavelli. <laughs> Machiavelli. What That's a I... word that's made to them. Yeah. What the? I, I, I Machiavellian. Can't... Oh my gosh! Please don't let me have to do this in the uh, same check too. Oh god. Florence, what do you think? What is our? What is a word that starts with an M that a mind flayer could want? Oh gosh. Wedge. <laughs> Wedge is gonna chime in from his uh his attuning to Oathbo. And just be mm -hmm. like, mind. Mind flares want the mind. My Ta my take my over mind. the mind. You know how a mind flare breeds? They put a fucking mm -hmm. tadpole inside your fucking head and it turns you into a mind flare over time. Uh, oh god, a baby Florence? No, not. Uh, I'm, I'm not. What the heck do you get the idea that Florence is a. It starts off as a tadpole of all things. See how this begins as tadpoles. It's no, true. No, no, it is not. 
<laughs> it is. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.